Okay, folks, let's look at pests. Food safety pests include cockroaches, birds, flies, and rodents. Domestic pets must not be allowed in a kitchen or food premises. Pests will thrive if they can find food, moisture, warmth, and shelter. When checking for signs of pests, always look in undisturbed areas, such as behind appliances, cupboards, food supplies, boxes, etc. Evidence of pests include for insects, live or dead insects, eggs or larvae, damage, droppings, smell, and debris. For rodents, live or dead rodents, droppings, noise, smell, smears and fur, damage, footprints, and rat runs. And lastly, for birds, live or dead birds, droppings, feathers, damage, nesting material, and eggshells. Why do we need to control pests? Staff losses if the business closes down, complaints from customers, it is the law, damage, lost custom, wastage, contamination, and disease, including food poisoning. We must prevent access of pests, including ensuring doors are kept closed and there are no gaps around the doors, making sure there are no holes in brickwork or by pipes. All windows and skirting boards must be in good repair. There are two ways we can control pests. The first is by using physical methods such as ultraviolet electronic fly killers, traps, sticky fly papers, and mist netting. The second way is by using chemical methods such as rodenticides and insecticides. Lastly, there are four things that you must do if pests have been recognized on the premises. Inform your line manager or supervisor. Dispose of contaminated food. Protect other food and contact pest control. That's the end of Lecture 4. We looked at the standards required in a kitchen or working environment, the three properties required of an internal structure, and how to recognize pests and know what action to take. The last lecture, Lecture 5, will cover cleaning and disinfection and food safety legislation. Thanks for watching. Susie will be here next time to start Lecture 5.